It's said in Texas, the state religion is football. But at Paul Quinn College in Dallas, the team was so bad, they didn't have a prayer. We couldn't afford football. So when the school brought in a new president, he shocked the Lone Star State by getting rid of the game and replacing it with a farm. Turns out it wasn't very popular with the football players. Um, I've got basil, Swiss chard. Farm manager James Hunter helps students grow while learning to tend a crop, all in exchange for cash and college credit. It's about teaching them accountability. It's about teaching them how to show up on time, ready to work. Before the actual pea shoots. The yield, 30,000 pounds of organic produce, enough to feed the neighbors in one of the worst food deserts in Dallas. Uh, there's no access to fresh produce within a mile radius. We serve as that hub for fresh produce for our neighborhood. Once harvested, the produce is donated to Dallas nonprofits and sold to local restaurants. But by far the biggest client is the home of the Dallas Cowboys. Let's bring this in. Ending up in kitchens right here at AT&T Stadium. When did you guys pick this? I picked these uh, yesterday, actually afternoon. Very nice. It's really, really cool. Today, the school that kicked football out is feeding football fans. We believe in it. This is something that was effortless, and it makes a lot of sense, and it transcends into what we do in our partnership with them. This fall, the farm is flourishing, and enrollment is up. To know that if you work hard, if you apply yourself, that you can make a way out of no way. A winning season on the field, tilling instead of touchdowns. <laughs> Steve Patterson, NBC News, Dallas. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.